You sleepy? Does it look like you? Now make this. Should we make this today? High five. High five. Oh, oh. No, high five. High five, Leela. High five. Leela, high five. High five. Leela, high five. Oh, please. High five. There we go. Okay. Good girl. Bless you. Instructions. We have. I guess this, these are like for the eyes. Interesting. Give it a sit. 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 Good girl. Good girl. No, 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 not for you. This is going to be the Maltese hair, I guess. It's a different color. Let's go right. No, Lila, no. Sit. Lila, sit. 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 Get those hair things in red, black, and pink. Just for the cup. Get a needle. And you have a bunch of instructions. Oh, so Japanese instructions, English instructions, and then photographs. Whoa! It's a pretty intense amount of instructions. So the instructions state that you need the wool felt here, a needle, eye parts, round jump ring, and a ball chain. That's in here. What you need to prepare, an owl, glue, pliers, scissors, a ruler, what, and an exclusive woolen felt mat, I don't have that, let me get the other things. wipe it lightly before oops.
So the pink has to be, dark pink has to be in three equal pieces. So one of the pieces I'm supposed to loosen with my hands. Loosen the divided piece with your hand and take one piece of the loosened white wool and roll it from one end while stabbing to make the core. Stab it together to make it a circle. So I watched a YouTube video and apparently you do need this sponge. So let me try this again. So I've added the second part to it and I just now need to, so this would be the head part, I need to push this a little bit so that it looks like a snout, a little bit smaller on each side. Literally it's just stabbing wool into small balls, I think it's making cross-linking hairs as you stab into this project. This is going to take a long time though, it seems. My first time felt needling, needle wooling, wool needling. Did not realize that this is how you made these things. I've stabbed myself about once, once or twice now. So be careful if you're making one of these. And my arm is really tired. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is like, I don't know why people do this. So my video stopped recording somehow when I was making the little blanket, or no, this is the cup part. But essentially what I did was I wrapped it around the dog 
and then at the end I just kept stabbing it over here. So now it kind of still looks like a blanket, but I'm hoping that once I add the little handle over here, it will look a little bit more like a cup. And it does not stand by itself. Oh, it stands by itself. It can't stand. So what I did with this portion is it was a bit too long from the cup part, so I decided to take it off, to cut it off and make it into the handle. I saved myself from stabbing an entirely new bunch. It looks like for the handle this has to be super tight. I'm gonna roll it up. Continue stopping. I find it helps actually if you want to get really tight to roll it and then stab it. So when you roll it, you have to hold it down. Roll it, pull it down onto your sponge on both hands. Use your both hands. And then stab really carefully. Actually, it doesn't have to be that long. So the seam, this is where I attached it originally. Attached the two pieces of the cup together. And I'm just going to put this here. And everything comes a lot comes together a lot better after you've attached it to your to your actual animal. Like while I'm stabbing it, I couldn't really imagine what the handle would look like. So it's better to put it on first so you can get a good idea of what it will look like when it's on your when it's actually on your needle felt animal. So I'm trying to needle point in between these two, pushing the pink and the white apart so it looks a little bit like the dog is actually sitting inside rather than being attached directly to the cup. And then right now, I'm just doing little details. I find that I wanted the neck to be a little bit more mobile, like I wanted him to be able to nod and different things or her to be able to nod. So I didn't attach the neck very, very securely. It's kind of on there, but it can bobble a little bit. I think that's cuter that way.
actually have quite a bit of wool left over. I decided to wrap it around and I decided to wrap it around so I can make the I want to decide to wrap Leela, come here. Come. I decided to wrap it around so I can make the neck a little bit more stable and then also give the face a, a bit more in features. This kind of bothers me that it's like an animal shape and I'm just stabbing it with a needle. Like, I don't know, not that it bothers me, I'm just saying it's funny how. Um, I did not know that needle felting was done like this. I thought, I don't know, I don't know why I thought maybe like you spun the yarn or something. But <laughs> doesn't that just look bad? <laughs> like stabbing the dog. Way I can give the dog a little bit more volume in the face, I think. Because Leela has hair here. Dog. A bit more hair around the side. She kind of has eye, like an eyebrow. Lena's favorite chair. It's a Muji beanbag chair. Quite soft and she liked it a lot. So this is the item that I was working on. I did not put down the keychain part of it. This is what I ended up with. <laughs> To look like Leela. I don't think it does. She likes to put her tongue out sometimes when she's happy. She's not happy right now. You're not happy? But oh, oh sorry Leela. So this is what I made. This is the kit, and here's the inspiration. You know, high five. Girl, can you put your tongue out? Can you put your tongue out? Can you do it? Yes. yes. No, no, don't eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> 